you have changed my mourning into dancing, O Lord, and I have girded me with joy. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are celebrating this Holy Mass in the joy of Easter and in honor of Our Lady of Fatima. For the intentions of Mother's Day Novena. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, my brothers, and my brothers, children of the family of Abraham and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death, and when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second Psalm. You are my son. This day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall, you shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You 
And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling, rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I'm going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. This is a wonderful time of celebration, the Lord's resurrection, but especially in this joy of the resurrection, we are celebrating First Holy Communion of the children in our ministries. They are receiving the Lord the first time, and um, as we celebrate uh, and honor our mothers, uh, we instinctively, instinctively think of the Mother Church who takes very good care of the children of God. As the mother gave birth to children, the Mother Church gave birth to the children of God through baptism. As mothers, we uh, the children from milk can begin to give them solid food because their digestive system ha has uh, developed enough uh, so they can eat solid food to get more nutrition. So the Mother Church gives, gives the Eucharist to children when their understanding has grown enough to be able to handle the food of adults, the Eucharist. As we honor our mothers, we do not fail to honor the Mother Church, especially um, there's, a, there's a difference in this that we eventually will be on our own as we grow up and independent, we don't need our mothers to take care of us, but the children of God can never live without the mother church. We can never be independent from all the provisions that the church gives. We can never live without the sacraments. 
And when we come across those who say, I used to be Catholic, uh, then we know they are starving. The church provides us all the graces that we need through the sacraments in super abundance. And those who have left the church, ex-Catholics, they live without such wonderful benefits. And um, they are deceived into believing that they can grow their spirituality independently of the church grace. And um, we children of God understand that grown-ups do not need mothers anymore, but we children of God always need the church. The church is given to us by God to take good care of us. And so that's why we honor our mothers all the more we need to honor the Mother Church. And the same reason today we honor the Mother Mary, Our Lady of Fatima. She is given to us by God to take care of us, good care of us. And let us imagine this. Uh, we, we have a very rich father, and we are privileged children, so we need money. So we call our dad and say, Dad, give me some money. And dad would tell us, go to the bank and meet Miriam. She will give you all the money you need. And so the church is the bank, and the teller is Mary. We ask God, God for help, and God gives us the church and Mary. In the gospel today, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That many people are led to believe that they can go straight to God. They don't need Jesus. And there are many people who are led to believe they can go straight to Jesus. They don't need the church. They don't need to go through Mary. But when they go to Jesus, then Jesus presents them the church and Mary. So what do they do? So those who are led to believe that they can do without the church or Mary, they are greatly deceived. The church and Mary are the very help that we ask God for. And so when we reject the church and we reject Mary, we reject the help that we ask for. Just like we need money and we refuse to go to the bank and refuse to meet up with the teller. And her name is Mary. And so we come across these individuals and we pray for them and hope that we can help them to realize that the church and Mary will help us in our journey on earth, the very help that we pray to God for. As we continue our celebration, honoring our mothers, we have the Novena Masses. We honor our Mother Church, and we honor our Blessed Mother Mary. As long as we do that, we do not need to be troubled, like, as in the words of the Lord. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. As long as we have faith in God, we have faith in the Lord Jesus, and if we have faith in the Lord Jesus, we ought to have faith in the church and the Blessed Mother Mary. And as long as we do that, our hearts need not be troubled because we are well taken care of. Those who are led to believe 
that they can live without a church or without Mary because for this or that reason, you know, a lot of criticism against the church or Mary, if they're led to believe that, they are led, they are greatly deceived. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which will bring you with a joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Rejoice, O Virgin Mother, for Christ has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. Communion, Michelle, can you come up and help? Thank you.
Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Tomorrow morning, the morning confession is canceled due to the first Holy Communion Mass. So there's no confession tomorrow morning. Thank you. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Hallelujah.